all right what's up guys uh how how you been uh here we are for another vlog and a quickie review um it's halloween how are you guys feeling that uh doing anything special let me know in the comments down below uh personally i am probably working because that's just the lifestyle i live um so yeah we're gonna do you know our usual stuff we got beer again which i'm excited about um we're gonna do, you know, the usual what I've been vaping, some advocacy and news, and we're gonna do uh, beer time. Then after that, we're gonna go on the top down, take a quickie look at this guy right here. Uh, the the uh, SXK Boxer Squonk mod, and I'll give you, you know, some 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 quickie look on all that kind of thing and let you know how i feel about it you know i've been trying it out for quite a bit and just feel like i need to you know bring bring this review into the states because i seriously tried looking up reviews for this the only english speaking one i could find was uh vix from vaping with vic and other than that i really almost all of them were like uh philippines and stuff like that so i don't know decided to do one for for us here in the states so let's move on to what i've been vaping All right, guys. So what I've been vaping, uh, I'm going to start off with the uh, LE Lucid Dreamer 6 of 10. For some reason, I feel like I got to say that every time. But yeah, in that, I am rocking the uh, Fountain Blast right there. That guy from what? what? Yeah, it's the Fountain. So it's Blast Off from uh, the Fountain. And I'm sorry. It's just one of those ones that I love keeping in my... Uh, in my rotation here and there it's a great juice awesome flavor i there's not much more i can say about it uh seriously go to independent vapor company and pick yourself up a bottle honestly it's really good juice really really enjoy that that flavor it's very uh spot on all right up next i got the uh clown vapes uh dreamer with the goon 25 on top still rocking that guy uh been tearing trying to finish this tyson's blend bottle and yeah it's an, again it's another juice i love it's my one of mine i know it's just full on self-promotion but hey you gotta love what you make you know what i mean just awesome awesome stuff and I'm still rocking that Suicide Queen from a couple weeks ago with the uh, Goon on there with the Goon 24. DHD Drip Tip. Chop Top. Yeah, I love them Chop Tops. I seriously, like I do have the regular Nub Tips, but I am liking how that looks better. At, you know, it looks a lot better and I just like the feel of it, honestly. It's just a lot more comfortable. I really thought it wasn't going to be comfortable, but it is. It's just one of those weird ones. In that, I am rocking uh, Blue Sin from my line. If I could get the label on there right, that is a torn up label. But yeah, that's another juice that I just enjoy. Like, I, it's hard for me to take it out of the rotation. Like, I'll try to put something else in there, and I'm like, eh, I need it back in there. It's really one of those things that it's hard to stay away from. But yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I can't say enough on how much I like it. Then I'm still rocking the Purge from last week's video. Seriously, that Trinity cap look on that right there. Oh my God, it's so good. Let me drip real quick here because I I could see it's dry. Part of the point of the, the Trinity caps. But in that, I have Fair Dinkum from Bogan's Brew awesome awesome juice just like in the like in the fruitiness of it it's just ridiculous how fruity it is i'm really liking it just a really really good vape Alrighty, and lastly i am rocking uh kennedy 25 yeah uh, yeah uh, uh. i don't know how that but sure. Yeah, I'm rocking a 
Mm. And lastly, I'm rocking a Kennedy 25 on my Noisy Cricket. And yeah, I'm I, I I'm going to be honest, this is actually a Kennedy 25 clone cuz again, certain things are out of my price range, but I want to try them and honestly, I might save up and get an authentic. That's how good this thing is. In that I got Hometown Hero uh, apple custard like I will probably do a review on the clone I'm gonna see if I could get my hands on an authentic and try to do a side-by-side -side. but so far I it's one of those things kind of like the cosmonaut hashtag the hype is real I'm enjoying it it's a really good vape really good flavor and I could only imagine what the fucking authentic does but on on that I got the uh, noisy cricket I got it in parallel mode Rocking like a .11 on there. So yeah, lots of clouds, lots of flavor. Really good stuff. I mean, I'll say this much for now at least. I've never been a big fan of bottom airflow atomizers for the simple fact that I over drip them constantly. I am really bad about it. And the Kennedy is proving me wrong. So, I mean, seriously, it's proving me wrong. I've had the Aura. I made a mess out of that thing i've had the tsunami 24 that I made a mess out of that thing I'm trying to remember what other i've had one other bottom airflow atomizer and i just kind of gave up at that point but i just can't remember what it was called but i've had like several bottom airflow atomizers and i just make a mess out of them i over drip them and it's just bad news for me all over the place so it is what it is, and so far that is proving me wrong, and like I said, I will try to do a review on that, and hopefully I can get my hands on an authentic, and I will do a side-by-side, -side. so that'll be that. Yeah, very excited about that kind of thing. So that has been my uh, lineup for today on the What I've Been Vaping. Let's move into some news and advocacy. All right, uh, news and advocacy. Uh, as always, keep up the fight. Don't give up. Uh, so many avenues to, you know, get an understanding of what you need to do, what you can do. We are currently in the election period. I think right now we're in early voting. And seriously, get out there and vote. You know, know learn what laws are being put in place near you. That way you know what you need to be on the lookout for. I mean, right now there is age changes going around like a lot of places are moving up to 21 for the smoking age a lot of places are putting uh flavor bands we still got those kind of going on here and there we have like indoor uh bands going on you got to keep up with all this stuff uh great avenues for this stuff as always i quit smoking by vaping.com as always casa.org uh not blowing smoke not the not blowing smoke page on Facebook. Great, great stuff going on there. Stefan posts constantly about things on there. And he does a great job at keeping people updated with things. Uh, Vape News Magazine is a good source for me. I personally go there every day and I look around, see what new things are coming up, uh, what new news articles are going on. They do a lot of like local news, world news, that kind of thing. So it's a good one. Speaking of vape news, uh, I was going to move into some articles here. Saw this one and I found it a little bit interesting based on what, you know, it, it reads. And uh, this came out October 25th. And it says Altria to discontinue some products pending FDA guidance. Altria has said that they will discontinue some of its Mark 10 products pending the clarification and guidance from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration or until the youth issue is otherwise addressed. Suspended and temporarily discontinued products including the Mark 10 Elite pod system, the Mark 10 Apex pod system, and all flavored variations of the Mark 10 and Green Smoke Sigalikes systems. Other tobacco, menthol, and men other than tobacco, menthol, and mint flavors. So basically, they're getting rid of anything pod related and their systems, except for the tobacco pods, the menthol and the mint pods, which hmm, that's all I can say about that. 
Altria moves into the midst of the FDA scrutiny over illegal use of nicotine products by minors, though the agency seems to be focused on use youth use of vapor vapor products to extend the youth of use to a that products to the exclusion of youth use of combustible or oral tobacco products are not only equally as addictive if not more so but also 90 95 percent more harmful than electronic alternatives studies have long demonstrated that although youth experimentation with vapor products has been on the rise use you youth use that's like such a like tongue twister youth use of more harmful combustible products has seen a concurrent decline remember that some vapor products are nicotine free even though even those which are not are less harmful not more harmful than combustible products which is not all only also contain nicotine but also contain a higher levels of toxicants and carcinogens while this move on the part of altria is interesting it may not surprise some readers the move is purely pragmatic on altria's part better to pull flavored products before the fda drops regulatory hammer on altria and other companies for selling them rather than the risk that hammer smashing the mark 10 product lineup entirely jewel labs indicated that it may consider similar product rollbacks although non-tobacco flavors have been shown to be an important component of vapor products potentially to help smokers transition into vaping and stick with it the fda and health groups maintain that they also draw youth to the products a more effective tactic than eliminating flavors, however, is a recent FDA suggestion to restrict where vapor where vapor products can be purchased rather than which vapor products can be purchased. Limiting retail sales to dedicate vape shops where Commissioner Scott Gottlieb has indicated that employees do far more effective job at turning away underage consumers. All right, so... It's very plain and simple. Altria is kind of doing a preemptive. We're going to get rid of all the flavor stuff. Leave just a basic menthol, mint, and tobacco, which is kind of what they've been pushing for with the FDA in the first place, that we only keep those three flavors. And I feel that uh, it's one of those things of they're kind of just giving giving up before even trying to fight. But then again, they're Altria, we know what they are. We know where they come from. Of course, they're not going to fucking fight it. They're not. They're not part of the actual vape community. And that's where well, it's one of those weird, like, blurred line kind of things. Because we would like to hope that big tobacco companies would want to be part of this and try to keep vaping alive. Because, hell, they're they're profiting off of it one way or another. They've bought um, a significant amount of vapor companies in order to, you know get in on the game but if they're not gonna really try to stick with us then what's the point it's just one of those weird things of there's a blurred line of do we want them do we not want them can we trust them do we trust them is there trust you know and this kind of thing is really like the article says it's not surprising to most vapors that kind of know about advocacy and stuff that they're kind of backing down before even fighting but we, I would like to hope that they would want to keep this fight going with us. You know, it's just one of those simple things of why wouldn't you want to fight for a part of your company to stay alive? Because hell, in the end, for you, it's profits. And if vaping becomes more of a normality when it comes to quitting smoking, you want to be part of this. Because if not, you're going to fall behind and you're going to be this antiquated thing that could lose out in the end. And... This is one of those weird things of I just I don't I understand where your mentality is at, but where is your mentality at? You know, so that's what it is. Uh, all right. So um, I had more stuff I wanted to read, but honestly, those articles are kind of like they felt a little jokey. 
in a very serious topic and I was not I'm not a fan of that idea. So we're just gonna move on. And as always, Casada.org, I quit smoking by vaping, not blowing smoke. You don't have to do everything, but you at least have to do something. Alright, we're gonna move into some beer. I am so excited about this one, so stay tuned. All right, guys, uh, beer. This week I have a special beer. Uh, Tis the season, you know, that kind of thing. It's Halloween. We went with a nice little uh, Halloween-themed beer. There it is. It's St. Arnold's Pumpkinator Imperial Pumpkin Stout. Uh, For years I've been told this is good. This is actually my first time trying it. I've never tried this other than ever. I mean, that's kind of it. I got this over the weekend and I was like, this is going on the video for Halloween because it's Halloween weekend or Halloween week, whatever you want to call it. Again, it's Monday and Halloween's on Wednesday. So when the video comes out, it's going to be Halloween. So let's uh, let's look at some description stuff here. It is a Imperial Stout, as you heard originally, which Imperial Stouts are, are pretty hardcore, man. Okay, so the bottle really gives no information. So what you see right there on the label, that's it. Obviously, it's the 2018 edition, which that gets interesting when you get beers that are made, you know, they, it's one of those things of um, beers, especially like seasonal beers, They you depending on how the crop for like hops and all that kind of thing is, it does change from year to year. So I, I kind of want to see if I can get this every year from here on out, see how it turns out. But I do have Beer Advocate open just so you guys, I could give you like a basic understanding of this beer. It is a pumpkin beer, ABV 10%. And then uh, let's see, this is uh, the description that they have from St. Arnold's. It is, this is the same to be, the same beer as Divine Reserve number 9. If you have already re- reviewed that beer please do review it again okay whatever so yeah they don't really have much information other than then it's kind of like a different beer so whatever i guess let me see see if we can find that reserve number nine Is that what I was called? Reserve number nine, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of... I want to get the best information I can for you. Uh, St. Arnold is from Houston. Just keep keep that in mind. Another Texas beer. Like, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the stuff I get is from Texas just because uh, it's local. It's easy to get. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. No, it's not there. There's reserve 18, 17, 15. It's like fucking androids and shit over here. If you got that joke, you are my friend. Okay, I don't know. They promised that it was reserve number nine and they don't even have it on here. So, uh, here, like they do apparently have different age uh, pumpkin eaters. So, we're going to try, let's try 20, 2014, see if they have anything on that. Other than the ABV going up to 12, not really. Uh, Bourbon Barrel 2016. All right. Uh, I mean, we're going into this blindly then. Uh, I wouldn't mind checking. I wouldn't mind checking Untapped, but honestly, I, I'm kind of. Uh, I just want to try beer. So we're gonna try it in this super cool skull mug right here, that my lovely wife got us one each, cause we are that dorky. Yeah. All right, let's see how this pans out because it's going to be weird drinking out of this cup. But, oh my God, that is pumpkin spice. It hits you. Like, let's put on that basic bitch hat. Oh, look at that. It gets a nice little head going. I don't know. I think that looks really cool in that skull glass. 
So, it's got a nice head. It is dark. Putting it up to the light, can't see through it at all. I feel like the nose is going to be a little bit weird in the sense of, uh, since it's not a cup designed for it kind of thing, but hey, whatever. Okay, you get that, like, I'm not sure this is, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be a bourbon barrel, but it might. Because it has like that bourbon kind of, kind of feel, but then it hits you with that pumpkin spice too. It's very weird. I'm used to like uh, stouts being very coffee-like, so to me that's that's a very very different thing. Hmm. Ah oh, man, that 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 it smells delicious. I'm not gonna lie, it smells really really delicious. All right, well we're gonna go into in for a drink. The head's already kind of gone down. It doesn't really stay. It doesn't stay, as you can tell, like when you move it side to side, it doesn't stay. So. Alrighty, let's give this a try. Cheers. That is a very awkward taste. It's like, it's a stout with a freaking huge hit of pumpkin spice. Basically, if I were to take a standard stout pumpkin pie and shove them both in my mouth that's really what it is it's insane that that is gnarly oh man all righty well look, i got some things i think might work with it but i'm not sure first we're going to start off with the um in the soaring air we have country clouds cornbread pudding Feel like it's both kind of fallish kind of flavors and stuff like that so we're gonna give that a try and see how that goes that just added to the sweetness it made it much more sweeter it um the aftertaste is kind of not really great I'm not gonna lie that was kind of like the initial was pretty good because the sweetness, it brings out the sweetness in both. But then it just didn't blend on the aftertaste. It just kind of leaves this really awkward taste in your mouth. Hmm. Alright, let's try um, Tortoro. I have it in my meat pot right here. And we'll see how that goes. That was a bit better. That that was actually a lot better. I think it's that cornbread pudding just kind of like leaves a weird taste with the beer. That was a bit better. It doesn't leave such an awkward taste where you're like, what did I just do to myself? Hmm. Okay, I have two more that I want to try and hopefully these work out. I'm going to go next with the Kennedy with the apple custard inside of it and see how this goes. Hopefully it's pretty good. need the beer before I can actually do it. Not the greatest. Not the greatest flavor ever. Okay, no. Definitely no. Oh, man. I need... Oh, shit. Oh, that 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 helped quite a bit. Yeah, that that was a definite no. No. Do I have a battery in this guy? All right, we're gonna give this one a try. Yeah, and I'm going through an array of things here, trying to find something that'll work. That smelled good, at least. All right, this is a uh, Leviathan's salted caramel custard. Okay, uh, okay, in the in the initial taste it kind of mutes everything. Very very drastically like I didn't get either. It was really weird, it was really random. 
But in the aftertaste, that pumpkin spice really rolls off the tongue. It's really nice. Really, really, really nice. All right. So this is the last thing I'm going to try, and hopefully this kind of pans out. So far, it's been pretty hit. It's been one hit and a lot of miss. And it's making me sad because I was really looking forward to this. But hey, that, that's, that's part of like doing all this. Let's try this out. Yeah, there's just like no... Other than the Leviathan kind of being part of it. And see, that one's kind of like... Eh, I think I just like burnt out my taste buds going through so much stuff that fast. But yeah, a lot of it was just eh. Hmm. I want like at least one win on this, but it's not really panning out. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of resorting to my own juices here. resorting to my own juices here and we're gonna give blue sin a try i don't think it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a try so here it goes not even no that that is very depressing because i love stouts if you guys have been following my channel long enough, you know I like stouts, and I will drink stouts like crazy, and I love them, and they pair really well with, like, coffee vapes, dessert vapes, all that kind of stuff, but this, that pumpkin taste really throws it off completely. Like, I like the beer by itself. It's actually really, really good, but paired up with half of the things I have on me, I just know it's just a big no. I'm trying to think of anything that could work, but... Just no. So we're going to call that like a win fail, I guess. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, if you guys want to pick it up, uh, they sell this giant bottle. I think I paid like eight bucks for it, so it's not too bad. So uh, if you guys want to try it out, it's really good. Like the beer itself is good. It's just not pairing with anything. With anything. It's... it's uh, I want to try no because this is my juice uh fair income let's get fair let's give fair income a try Uh, I don't know, that's, that, it's not bad, but it ain't great, if that makes any sense, so, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it, I'm just leaving it at that, I don't know how to feel about it, um, let's just move on, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda, I'm kinda hitting that point of I'm done with this segment, uh, I'm a little disappointed, like the beer just does not pair with anything i have here and that that part is a little bit disappointing but hey we can't win them all i mean i've had several wins i had to hit a fucking point where it just nothing was going to work out for me so <laughs> it is what it is and uh yeah let's move on to the top down view on the sxk and check out this little baby All right, guys, here we are. Um, this is it, the uh, Boxer SXK Boxer uh, Squonk Mod clone. This is the packaging it comes in. Very simple little plastic box. I will say not the sturdiest of feeling boxes, but it's cool packaging nonetheless. I, I am enjoying the way this thing looks. All right, so let's pop this guy open. And honestly, it's very simple, very to the point. You get your mod, you have your instruction manual, and that's pretty much it. I mean, 
I don't even I, honestly I don't think even a USB cable came with this thing but yeah let's set this aside and here it is the SXK boxer clone you can see it's got clicky buttons there this is your up down that's just there for aesthetics I guess your screen it says boxer here's your squonk bottle nice and squishy silicone bottle then when you pop this guy open on the inside you will find uh, these two converters 18650 to 2700 converters because this is a 2700 mod yeah so um, let me give you some quick specs on this and I'll walk you through it a little bit more all right so let's see what do we have here it's a 2700 mod 18650 to 2700 batteries 200 watts uh it goes from 5 watts to 200 watts size wise it is 85.5 millimeters this way 40 uh 60 millimeters this way and 40 millimeters this way it ranges from 1 to 8 volts. Input voltage is 6.6 .6 to 8.4. It'll run down. It'll go from a 0.1 to a 3 ohm. The uh, squonk bottle is a 7 milliliter. And it's regulated. As you guys can tell, it has a little screen guy. And it is regulated. So, you know, there's there's that upside. Here, um, let me... Let me pop in some batteries so I can show you guys the, the functions of the screen. And these are the uh, iDroids 2700 batteries. So you pop that one positive up. That one negative up. And I will say, uh, as just one of those weird tester type of things, I decided to throw in some 27, 21700s just to see how they fit. They will go in there, but you won't be able to get the door on there. I kind of ended up like messing the door up trying to do that. <laughs> so just just a forewarning. So here's the screen. And as you can tell, it's a color screen. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus. Okay. Well, either way, there, there it is. It's a color screen. Well, it focused slightly there. Uh, to color screen, you get your battery indicators here. Here's where it'll tell you your resistance, how many watts you're vaping at, your puff counter, how many seconds. Uh, I don't remember if this thing has functions. Here, let me... Alright, so you have the... Um... I'm trying to remember right now. So if you hold both of these buttons, it'll lock it for you, and it'll unlock it. And you have your wattage up, wattage down, and then you can put it in voltage mode, bypass mode, and back to wattage mode. So you got a couple of functions. It doesn't have TC, so if you're a TC user, I wouldn't recommend this. Personally, I'm not. I really vape Nichrome mostly. So, to me, this is a perfect mod. But if you're looking for something that just will run voltage, you could set your voltage over here. If you're looking for something that is in bypass, meaning like mechanical style. Let me show you real quick. Uh, I've been using, at the moment, I have the uh, Doc 24 from plan B on here. I'm testing that guy out. But see there, I got the atomizer on. That's in, oh yeah, and that's your turn off. Turn on. See, it has right there your resistance. All right, let me try this again. All right, we're back to wattage mode. As you can see, I mean, from the, those couple of hits, this thing is fast reacting. I mean, it 
There is no lag. There's no not much anything. We'll say at least personally for me running it at what I've been running it at and stuff. And I mean, like I am a high wattage, low resistance kind of guy. I seriously have been running this like at about 110 watts and the battery will actually last me a remarkable amount of time. I'll show you the battery sleeves and how they work. At least how I my understanding on it is. I try to put this contact as part of the uh, of the of the positive. That way that one's flat and all that kind of thing because even the instructions really don't tell you how to put the batteries in. But what I do is I use these as the positives and then leave the negatives flat and that kind of thing. So what you do, I'll show you. Ah. Show you here real quick. Pop out the, the eye joys. What I do is I'll stick this one negative up. This one positive up. Let's see. Works just exactly the same. The batteries I currently have in there, the uh, Vapcell 18650s. I can't remember which ones the, the rewrap is, but they are really nice batteries, I will say. I would like to thank uh, my buddy Chris Lopez for sending those my way. I He said he wasn't going to use them. He didn't have a need for them. So I kind of just took a run at them and honestly they've been really good batteries I didn't really expect to use those especially for regulated they are amazing so let me show you I forgot to show you guys like a little bit of uh, how much this mod weighs with without batteries with the sleeves all that kind of thing we'll close this guy up real quick but here let me show you how much this guy weighs cuz I don't know I do find that as an interesting thing. So we have it set to grams. We put the mod on there by itself. It's 90 grams, 91 grams, which is way lighter than my than the purge uh, enforcer that I did last week. With batteries, you're running at about 206, and with the atomizer on top, 250, which is still lighter than the enforcer, honestly. So, and then if you do it with the batteries and the sleeves, 210, so it's like a 5 gram difference on that. Yep, pretty much, 5 gram difference. So that's not too bad. Honestly, this is a, what is a plastic inje injected uh, mod. Then you got like the little squonk bottle, it's a nice little silicone bottle, which I'm, I like that feature, because honestly, I don't mind the rigid bottles, because my... My happy butt, really, I don't care about rigid bottles, non-rigid bottles, but I do, in the end, I do prefer the silicone ones because they, they're a little bit more forgiving when it comes to, like, trying to, like, squonk. And see, you can see right there, you see the juice coming out and all that kind of thing. Let me put this atomizer on there, and I'll show you guys some of the, the squonk action down there. And there you go, see? You see it squonking away. And then you just put it up for a vape and I don't know I'm very just amazed by how good this thing is for being a clone for being it's one of those weird things of SXK if you want to buy clones they are you look for that brand because they for a clone company they are quality they actually do kind of give a shit about what they're doing what products are putting out there they don't just put out really crappy clones and I mean, it's one of those things of it makes me happy to know that they are they're doing that kind of thing. So um, with all that being said, I'm gonna give you guys my pros, my cons, up top, and I'll let you know how I feel about it. So yeah, check you guys up top. All right, guys. So that was the SXK Boxer mod up close and personal. Honestly, like it's. It's one of those things of I'm enjoying the hell out of this thing uh, for being a plastic injection mod and, you know, all that kind of thing. It's pretty good. Let's get into some pros and cons. Pros. That battery life, for some reason, really makes it last. I, I mean, with the 18650s, I had it last like about maybe, I want to say like four days. And... I mean, I was vaping hard on it. Like, the first time I put those 18650s in there, I, I kept it in my rotation. I was going at it ridiculously. 
since it is regulated though i don't build really low builds because there's no point in that there really isn't you could put a low build and put it at high wattage and you get the same thing that you would like say from a mac at a point one so there's that kind of like upside to it so that's a nice pro that battery life is pretty good it doesn't tear through your batteries really bad um i don't know how accurate the ohm reader is but it seems to be okay because when i put it on my dna it gets closely to the same number the puff counter is kind of nice because i haven't really used the puff counter in forever the dna over there does have one but again i kind of got this one right before i got the dna so i've been using this a little bit longer um other than, like i i like that it's very it's a very simple mod it doesn't have a whole lot of features to it you don't have a whole lot to mess with it if you're somebody that wants to move up to a nice squonk regulated mod but don't want something very overly complicated i feel that this is a good mod to go to since it really doesn't have a whole lot to it the only thing that it has is mechanical mode or bypass mode whatever you want to call it or you could change it from wattage to voltage mode as i showed in the top down view and it's a very very simple mod to use i mean seriously it's very turn on five clicks on five clicks off The only things I will say, like in the cons uh, column, is that it's only a 2700 edition. And I, like I said last week's video, there is a way you can put uh, 26, 2650s in mechanical mods that take 21700s or 2700s. And this thing, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I just feel like it's not a safe practice for this mod, even though it's a regulated mod. I just feel like it's not a good practice. This is my own personal opinion on that. I feel that safety comes first. And that just isn't something you would like to do to yourself. Another con is this screen. I just do not like it. It looks so cheesy. It looks very dated. But that's about it. I mean, I just don't... I For some reason, that screen bothers me. I feel like this would have been a black and white screen. It would have been perfectly fine. But those are just my, my, my ideals on that. The Squonk bottle is a really good, nice, squishy bottle. If you like silicone squishy bottles, really good. Uh, form factor, I mean, it fits the hand perfectly. This is what a 24 atomizer looks on top of that thing. And it looks very lost, but it fits really nicely. So if you have, like, anything bigger, it, you could probably even rock, like, I really want to get my hands on the Dock 30 just to see how that fits on here. But even then, I feel like that's a bit of an overkill. But I would still like to try it out and see how it fits on this thing. Because, you know, that would be great. Or the FP. Even though that's a tank, I would just like to see how it looks on there. Because that is a, a lot of space. Like, for overhang, for you to get overhang on this thing, you got to get that new vapor gate thing that's coming out here soon. Because I think that was like a 52 millimeter. And that that is like the one thing I can think of right now. Um, what is that other thing? The Mason, I think it's called. Jesus Christ, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a big sucker. I mean, I've seen pictures and videos of it, and it's just the biggest thing ever. But even then, I think that thing would barely like fit right across like that, you know? So, it's a very simplistic mod. Very easy to use for a squonk regulated mod. I feel that this, for somebody that wants to go into squonking... But doesn't like the overly complicated, wants something simple and direct. This little guy, really good. They sell it on 3A vape. 3A vape, not 3F vape, because there is a bit of a confusion on that one sometimes. Uh, they sell it for, I think, $48 in shipping, whatever that would be. And for that price, you can't beat it. I'm sorry, but it's a very, very simple, simple mod for a very simple price. It's regulated. It's I guess it's a clone, but if you were to actually find the authentic from I think it's Ginger Vape, the authentic is running you about like $150. So there's your trade-off. You have two different options. You could go for the authentic. I don't know how that one works. I think they come with either a DNA board or a Yeehee board, which those are a whole nother thing. This just comes with their simplistic SSK board, and I like I said. It, like I said in the top down view, if you guys want quality in a clone, if you see SXK or YFTK, I think is the other one. 
if you see that or even night bright they've been doing really great but if you see either one of those brands in front of the description name you you know for a clone you're gonna get something good you know you're gonna get something that they actually took the time to care that their product is good even though they're making clones of another product they still try to stay as close to one to one as they can so you know it's one of those things of give it a try if you want to like i said it is a good clone for a beginner that wants to get into squonking but doesn't want something complicated and doesn't want to get into mechanicals because that's another one i mean i have several mechanical squonks i have the ds i have uh the s rabbit i have the Kriya. I have the the Franken Skull, and those are all really good Squonk mods, but they're mechanical, and they don't have all the safety features that a regulated mod would have. And I did have the Rage for a bit there, and that kind of crapped out on me, which I, I really hate to say that. It really did crap out on me. So, I mean, this, I've been rocking it for a month. I haven't had any issues. You know, I charge the batteries on an external charger. I just use it constantly it's been in my rotation just for this review just to make sure that no matter what it's still going it's still gonna put like take the punishment that i give it and i am not nice to my products i really am not i try to make sure all these things go through their paces like a like a mofo so you know it's a good product if you want to try like swonking for the first time and that it's something regulated and won't break the bank because there are some other better products but you pay the price for them that's really what it boils down to. Alrighty, so with that being said, uh, three AVA, pick one up if you want to try it out. It's like forty-eight bucks or so, not too bad. And um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, as always, advocacy push for it, please. As I said in my advocacy portion, you don't have to do everything, but you have to do something. And it's one of those things that stands true with me. And anybody I know that follows advocacy and pushes for it, everybody does their part. And I feel that anybody that watches these videos should try to do their part. So, yeah. Uh, check me out on Instagram as Clown Vapes on Facebook. Uh, I have two pages, the Clown Crew. And I have the Clown Vapes blog and the ClownVapes.com page. Uh, check me out on ClownVapes.com. We got a bunch of new products up on there. I got my coils, my wire, I got some mods, I got, I'm even doing the me pods, if you guys want to check out some me pods, that kind of thing. So, yeah, give us a look, and you know, don't don't be a stranger, and as always, check out Vaping with the Omis on either my channel, or Frames Janklin's channel, just keep an eye on either one of our Instagrams, we both do hand checks and cloud checks on Mondays, to let you know what channel we're going to be on that week, and... You know, if you feel that, that that format isn't working, let us know. I mean, we're, we're just trying to figure out things to help both of our channels grow. Because doing vaping with the Omis has helped me grow tremendously. And I want to give, I want to pass it, pay it forward to James. Because, I mean, he is one of the reasons that my channel has grown as much as it has. Along with the other guys. But I want to pay it forward to him because he started doing a review channel. And he's been doing an amazing job. Uh today's monday and he put out a dead rabbit rta uh review and he did a really great job like to a point i had to stop myself from watching it because i want to do my own review on it and i don't want to have my opinions of it as skewed but he was he really he does a really amazing job at his reviews so go check his channel out i'll put a, all the links to everybody's instagram everybody's uh social media stuff is all down below for all the advocacy stuff um What's it called? Vape Radio is doing a GoFundMe to keep their uh, them going because they are hitting a financial snag and they really need com the community to come together and help them out. So if you really have anything to give, please give. Any Every last penny counts. That's really what it boils down to. And continuing in the theme of not this past weekend but the weekend before with the uh, suicide prevention... I will have a link in the description down below for uh, Michelle Lynn's page for uh, suicide prevention donations. If you guys want to donate to the American Suicide Prevention Fund, I think it's what it's called. If you guys want to give to it, please do. 
Like, uh, to me, it's a near and dear kind of situation. Uh, I really wasn't doing well as a teenager, and I could not be here. If it weren't for certain life-changing things, I really probably wouldn't be here. So, suicide prevention is a real thing. Some people just need help, and why not be part of that help, you know? So, please donate. And uh, I'll catch you guys next week, and we'll see what we do next week. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me. You guys have been great. And as always, mix on, vape on. feeling that beer yeah that's hitting hard i even working the mouse right now is kind of a pain in the butt where is it there he is oh my god i should have ate before i started drinking that's what happens when you start drinking at like two in the afternoon you know what i mean all right all right guys <laughs>